In this video, we're going to review how to reconcile your cash flow spreadsheet against your bank account. Start by having both your bank account page and cash flow spreadsheet open. Then make sure the amounts entered into the CFS match the amount of the actual transactions in your bank account. They need to be entered on the correct date and in the correct column. You can do this by reviewing the bank activity table for the time period you are reconciling and compare each transaction in the CFS with each transaction in the bank account activity table. You will also need to check to see if you have added all of your bank fees. You can find the fee details associated with your bank account by going to Student Home, clicking on Vendor Selections, and then Bank. This would include 50 cent per check fees, depending on what bank option you have. If there is a transaction in the bank account that is not on the CFS, then enter the amount that you have missed. Each time you reconcile your bank account and CFS, type Reconciled in the purple comments column on that date. The next time you balance your account, you will know to start after this date. Your CFS should be a mirror image of your bank account on any given date. That's it for this video. 